All right, so kicking off today's video, we are going to be doing the uh, thermostat install for the Ford Edge. But before we do that, I want to uh, go ahead and give a special thanks out to Colin and his father for pointing me in the right direction. Can you please stop? Anywho, so I like to thank them guys because <laughs> they are pushing me in the right direction for this uh, build. Oh my God, I don't want to step on these cats. Um, so yeah. Yeah, uh, go ahead and do that and then i'm gonna talk to you guys about what's going on with the fusion so you guys know what's going on with that because this is a vlog first and foremost so let's see all right guys so as we can see here we got the engine on and everything of course you got the standard alarms but here oh, we gotta turn this down so it says replace the battery that's, that's very very simple but as we can see here it says front camera malfunction now, I don't know what exactly that is, but I'm pretty sure it's this little camera up here. So, uh, it's also affecting some other things. We got the um, air conditioned seats aren't working, the heated seats aren't working. So, I'm, I'm thinking it might be a fuse or something. But there's also something else going on here. So, if we go into settings, driver assist, lane keeping, that's not working either. So, I know that has to do with the uh, camera up here. But, um, let's see, something else isn't working too. Oh, the automatic high beams. The automatic high beams isn't working, but I'll show you guys that in just a second. So, let's see. Vehicle, lighting. And you see it's grayed out. So, that lets you know that it's not working. And then I'm also hitting the up button. That's not working. So, I need to get that checked out. Alright, for us to tackle this project, we're going to need one of these uh, catchers. Then we're going to need a uh, Torx bits. It's, I believe it's a T15. So we're going to need that to take that off. And then we're going to need a 22 millimeter. Put it on our impact. You could use an extension if you want to. The uh, other one, the other studs are 15 millimeters, I believe. Then we're going to need our thermostat. Obviously, we can't do anything unless we have our thermostat. It's uh, 160 from Livernos. Not That's not the price. That's actually the thermostat. When it, when it starts to open, it's actually like $58, $60, somewhere around that neighborhood. Then we're going to need some of our um, ratchets and everything. This is uh, going to make life a lot simpler. Then we're also going to need a jack, wooden block, some standard fair tools just in case we don't have everything we need. And obviously you need patience and go ahead and tackle this job. And first we got to start off from the bottom. So let's go ahead and tackle that stuff guys. I got a lot to endure. There ain't no stopping the storm. Homie, the top is it warm, so chill. I think I need my light bulb fixed. That's lately I ain't been getting hyped on shit. Life's a journey, you gotta find your niche. I'm leaving this tight space because I don't fit and I'm moving away. My whole life I'ma start from scratch as an artist and trap. Alright, so for this particular one, I believe we have to line it up just like that. So it's just going to be sandwiched between this tubing and the actual sensor. So, just going to get one started real quick. I swear, something as simple as a blow-off valve shouldn't be this hard at all. Ford made it kind of difficult. Uh, so you have to use a uh, set screw over here and tighten it down and everything. And They say to remove this cowl, but that's we're not going to do all that. But I got my hand back here as much as I can, hand tightened it, these three. So whenever we do finish this uh, engine mount right here and do the thermostat, it's going to be good to go. So just want to keep you guys updated. We got to slide this right here underneath the car. Go ahead and drain the coolant and then the thermostat should be a breeze after that. Alright guys, so I got it to drain. The hardest part about this actual project is uh, actually getting these pliers in the right spot. So you have to go in between the wiring harness and the transmission and kind of like finesse yourself in between it. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have my light right there. 
but it's like right here. I'm gonna try to grab it real quick. As you can see, grab it there. And then it's kind of hard to twist it because the transmission is like right there. So, but I found that this was like one of the best angles for actually trying to get to it. You can try to put your hand there, but like I said, it's hard. Back up top. Uh, so now I've already removed uh, two or three yeah two of the 15 millimeter bolts holding in this engine mount so i'm gonna go ahead and take this apart right here because it's, it's in my way so that's what the manual recommends anyway so let me go ahead and take care of this Okay, so one important thing for removing this engine mount, stay away from this 22 millimeter because if you do, it'll actually mess this up. So just do the uh, 15 mils around here. This is going to be, I believe, a 19. No, no, actually, this is actually has that uh, clip in here. Then you have a 19, 19, and then a uh, 21 millimeter right here. So that's how you take this out, put it to the side. And then it looks like this is going to be for the for the thermostat housing so you have to remove this uh hose right here so we're going to use a hose clamp then i believe this is like a eight to nine millimeter so i'm going to confirm that when i go ahead and remove it real quick is it it is in fact a eight millimeter so let me go ahead and start off by removing this right here go ahead and get that out the way and i know you see that trash bag in here but that's just to protect the alternator because i believe it is right there I don't want the coolant to splash on it, although we have drained it, but there's gonna at least be some in here. can't get that great of an angle so I'm just gonna have to try to show you guys exactly how it's gonna go in so the vent is gonna go at a 12 o'clock position so that's like literally here and then the o-ring is gonna go on top so let's go ahead and put this thermostat in shout out to uh, BNS Automotive Mobile they came and uh, re redid the threads for my edge fantastic fantastic i can't say enough about them and also colin and his father they helped me out because i was freaking out about this but i have no needs to worry we can go ahead and finish this project so what we need to go ahead and do next is go underneath the bottom and tighten up the uh drain plug so let's do that real quick All right, so we got just a little bit more work to do. We got to uh, fill this up right here with coolant. Typically it is orange before it has now moved on to yellow. Don't know why the color changed, but hey, it's whatever. I don't care. That does not look like yellow. We got to go ahead and fill it up to the max level before starting the engine. So it just needs just a little bit more. All right, so now it's at the max level. We used up just about a gallon. Put this cap on real good all right so like I said I keep mentioning this a lot but my brother works at Ford so we got this little access to this little Ford service tech thing so it says that we got to go ahead turn the climate system off in 14 it says start the engine and increase the engine rpm to 3500 and hold for 30 seconds so let's go ahead and start it up all right. For 30 seconds. 
All right, so we did that. Now it says turn the engine off and wait for one minute. All right, so now we are starting the engine yet again and we're gonna let it idle until it reaches normal operating temperatures and the thermostat is fully open. And a fully open thermostat is verified by the cooling fan cycling on at least once. All right. So we just gotta play the waiting game. One extremely annoying shift later. We installed the uh, blowover valve and everything. So I just want to show you guys what that sounds like because one of my subscribers suggested I install one of these. And at first I thought it was kind of, you know, wrister kind of status. But now after hearing it, it doesn't sound too bad. So I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like. Yeah. finished burping the system we did the install of the thermostat uh, the blowover valve and everything as you guys saw in that last video um, please watch that last video because you know I messed up on uh, the housing for the thermostat so please watch that it's a pretty funny video but guys this blowover valve looks pretty amazing we have a parasitic drain going on in the barrier so I may put it in the shop but before we put it in the shop I got some lowering springs we got an exhaust coming and guys I also want to shout out Colin and Special K, they have been nothing but amazing and guiding me and what I need to do with my edge to make it hit at least 11 seconds, they are phenomenal. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and guys, leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.